What's up guys, I'm Death Infinox Gaming and welcome back to my channel. So today, we're gonna be making builds by using this specific hammer, which is this corner's hammer. So, I'm going to show you a beginner's build, hashtag a simple build, and then I'm going to show you the end game build. So every time I went to Rob's Gate and or land into the training grounds, I always see people try out the chain blades, trying out the sword axe repeaters, but I very rarely see people try out the hammer. I don't know why people don't like to use the hammer. It's actually really good. Although it hits pretty slow. That's why I brought some trusty source of attack speed source with me. Make sure to hit your air slam and cast your special, which is the mighty lamb breaker for your extra damage. Ouch. There you go, the stagger. That's your chance. Always keep track of your special. That way you can deal maximum amount of damage every single hit. I missed. Okay. So before you catch a special of course make sure your ammos are either charge ammos. There you go. Uh, pick it up, okay? Stagger it. Come on, stagger. Too bad it's not staggered. So you don't have to have ammos so that your arrow slam will regen your ammos. Okay? Just keep it at empty. As long as your arrow slam hits, it will regenerate ammos. And there we go. Easy, right? That's the beginner's build for hammer. So let's check out the build real quick. So it's Aegis, Scorn's weapon, any kind of Scorn weapon, Scorn's Defiance, and Bastion. So here's your combo for maximum amount of shield. You can always bring Cascade, but for this build, I didn't bring one. So this four is actually enough for a very high shield. Along with Galvanize, which gives you critical strike chance based on your shield, you will get around 30-ish percent of critical strike chance which is the highest in the game for perks okay so these are very good combo evasive fury for your reliable source of attack speed tenacious and tough for your damage based on current hp conduit is just some random i fit it into the lantern knockout king comes with a weapon so here's the equipment amber mains helmet ganesh's body frost wolf arms and boreas legs here's the lantern using conduit here's the weapon mighty lamb breaker and weighted crown so that's the beginner's build. What about the end game build? So there are lots of differences in the end game build. First of all, I'm using criticals like cunning. So Aegis and Galvanize stays the same, the rest are different. Okay, so here's the type with helmet, Razor Curious body, Frost Wolf arms, and Throat Slates. I'm using Catalyst as my reliable source of attack speed. Cunning because I deal Critical damage pretty frequently. Cunning is a good choice. Predator for extra damage. Knockout King, I'm making it to plus 6. So here's the lantern and here's the weapon. I'm using Antic Clip. I think you can get this one from the Lady Luck. So what Antic Clip does is it gives you 300% bonus from your Aether Charge ammo. But the downside is you only have 2 ammos. So the gameplay here is different from the normal kind of hammer you play. So you no longer use shockwaves as your damage source. Instead, you're just using prime attacks. As usual, make sure your ammos are either charged. Catch your special. There we go, always jump when you catch your special. I missed my jump right there. Oops, it's bugging. Okay, there we go. Prime your attacks. Just prime your attacks. It's okay if your special don't deal any shockwave. Just as long as it hits and it regenerates your ammo. Ouch. Always make sure to have your special. That's your very source of damage. That's the most important thing 
whether you're using the end game build or not. Okay. And it's that. As you can see, this build is pretty good. So we use the beginner's weapon on Pangar just now. <clears throat> what about if we use the same weapon, the end game version of this weapon against Pangar? So let's try this build out against this Pangar right here. It's level 14. I'm level 8. Should be pretty fine, I guess. I don't have my damage buff. So let's just cast my special real quick to get the buff. It's gonna ram, so let's just knock it down real quick. There we go. I'll just prime my attacks. Okay, let's prime my attacks. 2k. Prime attacks. As long as your final kit hits, ouch, then everything is fine. Okay, so I'm out of catalyst, so I'll just take it real quick. Ouch. I'm out of my... I mean my special. But I don't have the Aero Charge Hammer for it. Okay. So make sure to hit first. There we go. Then Kaiser Special. There we go. And Prime your attacks again. Kaboom. Okay. If I primary attacks, that one won't hit. So let's primary attacks right now. Okay, there we go. As you can see, this build is very good. It deals very high damage. And it's really fun to use. But you need a little bit more strategy because you need uh, a bit kind of... I don't know. Maybe you need to... Keep track of your ammo a little bit more because you only have two ammo. It's really hard if you put your ammo to zero and then you don't hit your aero slam, then you will go back to non aero charge ammo. So it's kind of a risky build, especially when you keep knocking down behemoths and some behemoths just move slightly bit away from you, which makes you miss your combos. But still, this build is pretty good. That's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free and you can always subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.